Well, hello everybody. Good evening, all of you who have come today here to listen another awesome webinar. Mm, let's see. Hello, Carlos. Hello, Marco. Susanna. Hello, Thomas. Thank you all for uh, coming. And of course, uh, hello everybody who are watching uh, this uh, broadcast via YouTube. I know that there are many of you also who will see this um, maybe here live or, or a little bit later. So welcome everybody. My name is Michael and I am from Estonia. And a little bit, well, briefly about me. I have been a Skyway investor for about uh, three years now, actually a little bit over three years. And since I found out about this technology, I recently knew that uh, this is going to be a huge project. And um, my, well, my thoughts um, back then uh, came reality, came true. And this is a huge project. As we know, we have many um, demonstration uh, parks already uh, built. Of course, uh, one in the United Arab Emirates, in the Emirate called Sarja, is currently under construction. Uh, two roads, one road is uh, fully finished and uh, two another roads, uh, tracks, two and a half kilometer tracks are, uh, um, uh, right now they are under development. So yeah, we are getting uh, an amazing results. And then of course, thank you all, mm, thank you all well, investors, thank you all for supporting the project and sharing this information. And uh, and um, yes, so uh, Anatoly Nitsky, who is the creator of uh, of this technology, he, I believe, also says big thank you to all of us. So together we can do it. But uh, let's see. As you know, today we are going to talk about Skyway and the technology itself. Mm and what are the differences between between the well the last century technologies like tramways or trolley buses or uh, metros well metro is a little bit different because it's underground but uh, but mostly monorail for example and and the maglev for example another another technology running on magnets so but we today concentrate on skyway and uh, we'll talk about about this technology and as as you might see on this picture right now uh, this describes very well uh, how people back then around 100 years ago uh, pictured the future of humankind and i have seen similar pictures uh, more uh, done by another artists as well the, these pictures show very well that the, back then we already knew that, that the, the transportation is going to the second level and that if we think about bigger cities at the moment, for example Paris or Rome um, or uh, Moscow or uh, St. Petersburg or or another big uh, bigger cities, then we might realize that um, we have very good first level the crown floor infrastructure we have all these different technologies machines we have cars trams trolley buses uh, underground we have uh, metros or, or the subways um, and uh, of course all different kind of taxis and so on and but but you might realize that the problem still occurs that uh, there of course this is due to population the growth of population and, and that uh, and more and more people are going to live in urban areas and that causes the the need for uh, transportation but since the first level the ground floor is well if we think about inner city places there is no no place else to build more roads we cannot tear down the buildings or just to make another um, road for cars or, or trams and uh, so the only possible way your solution is to go where to the second level of course so go to the higher levels and uh, that's what uh, skyway is uh, the solution is done by skyway the, the technology because you know 
even today we don't have these kind of technologies that that are capable to solve these problems very efficiently so skyway is the first one that's why it is uh, really amazing and truly awesome to to be here in this project and of course if we take a look at this, these pictures on the right side there is the monorail technology uh, in dubai there is also one i will show one another picture here oh I... yeah all right and uh, this is the another one actually i'm i'm looking that i'm the presentation is i did some renew re, i renewed my presentation but it seems that i somehow accidentally uploaded to wrong yeah i did that i'm sorry truly sorry i try to fix that uh, on the way as well look just I, I did put some more more pictures to the new presentation i will upload it uh, fast so i can show you the the other pictures as well so but anyhow mm, the, the technologies itself this one is um, uh, in berlin in germany and basically well just look at the look at the construction of it how massive it is and uh, well i might say a little bit robust comparing to skyway of course but uh, let's see uh, yeah let, let's wait until they upload then i will uh, put the right presentation on i'm sorry about that mm. and for ex example this one is mm, is currently active in uh, China and basically this is a tramway but um, upside down tramway the, the the detachment is on the roof so it can ride like this like you see on this picture but um, if we talk about technology or think about technology itself then it doesn't uh, have any spectac more spectacular um, objects or, or um, elements inside only that fact yeah now i sh should have this another presentation is also uploaded where all right let's take a look uh, at this picture until then so what we see here is um well on the left side basically these were this well similar technology with ropes of course and stones was used uh, centuries ago uh, but uh, the main thing about all this picture is that the engine or, or the uh, machine that turns uh, that makes the the models the capsules move or the tra trains move is located in the end of uh, in the beginning or in the end of this uh, track so this one is itself the engine as you can see on the right side of this picture below the the yellow one or the orange one this one turns and that makes the wheels move on on the strings basically this they are the wheels are just attached to the strings they are not moving themselves but uh, but the orange uh, engine is uh, turning it all right i got the uh, think oh, i see now before we go on i want to show you this should be uploaded every minute now but now that let's take a look the skyway yes so as you can see on this picture the, the it's enormous difference uh, when we think about the all the other technologies i just showed you the track structure itself is, is so neat it's uh, it's not that massive it's uh, it's collaborating with uh, nature and and uh, area around it uh, very well and if you look at the back in the background there is the unicar which uh, drives in in the um, most far away on this picture that's unicar i have driven with it myself as well and this one goes up to 150 kilometers per hour and it can be lifted even 50 meters above the ground so these are all very spectacular effects but now let me open the correct presentation i'm sorry about that this one here yes this one i showed you well this one i wanted to show you more this is also a monorail 
And a similar one is built in Dubai as well, 10 years ago. And that one cost, one kilometer of that track cost uh, 70 million US dollars. So if we compare it with Skyway, which uh, track structure costs are beginning from 1 million US dollars, then it's a huge difference. And uh, this one I wanted to also show you. It's um, the, the Germany track, just another angle of, of the picture. This one I also showed you. And this is the metro. And this is a Moscow metro, underground uh, transportation system. And uh, and what was this interesting fact was uh, that um, when I did my research for my university, I compared all these uh, different uh, technologies and I found out that under 2nd Avenue, when they built in, in the United States, they built under 2nd Avenue a metro system and that, uh, that specific uh, track cost uh, per one kilometer was more than one billion US dollars. Billion, not million, but would be billion. Yes, you heard right. So there are huge differences comparing the prices with our technology. That one I already showed you. But now let's see why Skyway? Why is it that Skyway is here to stay and uh, is uh, will be accepted technology in our environment and, and in our uh, world? So First of all, Skyway is innovative, as you can see on this picture as well. This is made specially for, for United Arab Emirates. Uh, um, the, the, well, they had these special needs for the design, and this is really glamorous, as you can see. Um, but the, the patent, patented, uh, patented, patented, um, sorry about that word, uh, well, the patents, which are very important for, for, the, uh, for the company and for Unitsky and for us, is um, first of all is the string uh, attachment this is basically this is not just a string but this is pre-stressed string uh, strings they are all together inside the rail and it's the rail is filled with special um, filler special material which will well make the noise less and so on and uh, this one is patented by Anatoly Nitsky and uh, this what this is what makes it special, the rule structure, and so strong. So if if we, well, the, well, usually, if I, let me show you this picture here. As you can see, these mm, mm, supports, the support, um, anchor supports, they have to be after 20 meters on 10 meters or so on, so, so that it can hold the structure, the rule structure above. Uh, but uh, this one here can be even after every 400 meters. So this is uh, also very special and uh, important information to understand. Oh yes, this is uh, I made a video uh, in 2019 when I was in Ecofest uh, uh, in Skyway Ecofest in Belarus. There is the demonstration and certification center, the first one. And you can see again in the background, you can see a unicar driving above the 50 meters above the ground. And I got the chance to drive with it myself as well. And I can say this was really amazing, really amazing. And I recommend to all of you if an opportunity presents itself and uh, we have the chance to go in uh, Belarus again after this crisis that is happening right now, then I recommend you to come there and see this with your own eyes. This is truly amazing. All right, let's see. Let's see what we have here more. Hmm. The second point: it's ecological. So, as I mentioned also before, it suits very well with nature around it because the structure, the road structure, is not that uh, enormous or uh, mm, massive. It's very neat. It uh, it blends very well. And what is more important to know is that if we compare it with the normal tramways or, or um, even the trains, then when the track is on the ground, it can drive only one direction uh, in one moment, one direction. But here, as you can see, it's possible to drive both directions. Above, you can go one way and under, underneath, you can go the other way. Or you can use different kind of uh, models. The first one, what you see on this picture above, there is a high-speed unibus. That one goes up to 600 kilometers per hour. And beneath it is unibus. That one goes 150 kilometers per hour. So basically, we can use uh, one line for uh, long distances without 
um, a lot of stops and the other one below we can use uh, for making many stops for example so that one is also great now here the, another point is the co2 levels as you might understand the world is going toward electricity and uh, the production of electricity from solar panels or wind turbines and so on so we're going toward alternative energy sources and of course this picture right now is um, well th this makes black white or white black so to say but even today many countries still use uh, trains or trams or um, or other technologies that go on fossil fuels so this m must change and skyway is uh, going toward the change as well well skyway is using fully electricity so is helping to change that in our world now let's see what we have more Oh yes, the wind resistance due to the shape of the models and due to the fact that we do not have any screen effect with Skyway models because we are above the ground then the wind can go below the models and there is no resistance. But when we compare it with cars then, or another technologies that go go on the first first levels, those have this screen uh, screen effects because uh, the wind goes underneath the car, for example. But there is the asphalt or, or the road, and it, uh, mm, and, which is a resistant resistance for for wind. So this makes it uh, about this makes Skyway about ten times uh, less wind resistant than uh, than the other vehicles. And which what does it mean? You might uh, ask. And this is. Uh, this means lower fuel uh, or lower energy, more energy savers, so to say, lower energy costs. So another picture, yes, the problems with first levels, the ground floor problems, they might happen with roads. We need to maintain roads constantly or uh, on, the, on the right side in, in the, um, well, tropical climates, they might there are very strong winds, so each day we might need, each day might bring us some new obstacles or challenges. But this all takes money and this resources to to clean the paths or roads. And um, and on the left side, you can see in the winter time what's, what's the main problem is that when there is a lot of wind, uh, sorry, a lot of snow, then the snow can lift the trains above the rails. Mm, and then the trains can go off the rails so that's why we need uh, special trains very heavy trains with uh, uh, yes yeah, so which will clear the path it's similar like the ships we have if there is a big ice or, or a lot of ice in the sea in the winter times then there are very heavy ships that they clear the path for commercials but with skyway we do not have these kind of problems and uh, another picture what you can see and what i want to say with these pictures is that on the left side you can see how the road construction um, is uh, how, how how the road construction uh, looks like and um, basically if we well build a want to build a train track then um, there is not like this just take down the forest or or dig under underground few meters but it usually takes about seven meters um, that we need to dig underground so and we need to fill it with uh, special fillers so the tra uh, train track could be very strong and with what we fill there are a few people who i know who said that they went up with a drone and they looked uh, well 500 or kilometer in, in kilometer radius um, when basically there there are going right now there is a road construction going on in estonia and if we go look one about one kilometer um, in the forests which is next to the road then we can see there are big holes where they bring the filler for this um, road uh, to fill these roads so this is important to un understand i hope you understood my english so on the right side in nordic countries it's a very big um, area very big um, sector is the explosion so to say well 
they need to exp make the uh, hills or, or the mountains explode. They need to yes make explosions there to build a tracks through the mountains. And this is also very costly, as you might understand. But now let's take a look at this picture. Beautiful, isn't it? Simple, elegant, strong, fast, clean energy, and so on. So it's amazing. And this one. As you might understand, we can go over the seas or the rivers as well. And uh, there would be no problems with that. And the last problem uh, about uh, nowadays, well, what's happening nowadays is the population growth. Well, that's I don't want to say that's a problem, but uh, the, the problem might be that the living standards are raise, raising constantly and more and more people have their own vehicles and that causes uh, traffic jams. So if you have been in b bigger cities in our world or if you live in some big cities, for example, even in uh, Tallinn, in Estonia, is, uh, there are a lot of traffic jams or in, like I said, Rome, Paris, um, whatever countries you, you might or cities you might uh, remember, there are in certain hours, there are uh, massive traffic jams. So that's the problem. All right, let's see what we have more. Yes, the solution. Again, it's hard to describe with uh, with words this, but um, I know that many many people understand this uh, technology that it's going to rock the world and it's going to to sustain here the strong feeds that uh, that it can go on. For, for a long time and, and one more thing is that if we construct or build a track it can last for about 50 to 100 years so and comparing it with, with train tracks or tramway tracks there are about 15 up to 30 uh, years so again that's how we can save the resources all right now i will upload the second presentation here yes the third one is that it's safe it's totally safe and uh, first it's due to the again patented uh, the patented aspect of of this technology is the motor wheel and derailment system which will hold even if we basically put the model upside down it will stay strongly attached to the rails Secondly, it has this uh, automated intelligence system integrated. So basically, if it sees some kind of obstacle, it immediately stops. And even inside, it has uh, this uh, special intelligence system inside the uh, cabin. So it's very safe to, 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 due to that fact. Fourth, yes, so many people ask what happens if if the model or the capsule or um, or unibus or unicar will just stops something happens to it it stops on the track what happens then so basically there is also the if you look at the models on the picture right now there are special mm, uh, special details attached in front and uh, behind the model which will collaborate with another model so it can be lifted, pushed basically, or pulled. It doesn't matter which way, it depends which way it's needed basically. And it can be transported to, to the service. Or if, uh, if uh, or, or the other solution, there are also special elements inside the cabin, basically like in helicopter or in uh, airplane. So you can just, um, roll down yourself from the from the cabin and lastly about safety i have put on the slides this picture as you might understand in tropical climates this is how how people travel so not not that safety safe of course <laughs> people are capable to to go doesn't matter which way they need to go but uh, but it's not that not that, not, not that safe. 
and Skyver can Skyver has a solution for this problem as well because it can carry much more people because the time between the models can be quite fast. Well, basically the maximum is after each three seconds another model can uh, go go from the station, leave from the station. But of course we need to uh, take in mind um, the time that goes boarding and and uh, coming off of the capsule in the stations. And fourth point, very important point, is that we have our own real models and products. So we are not, uh, basically Skyway is not something we can see on the produce on or is animated on the pictures. But we really have our own models and products. Many of them are already certified as well uh, by Russian and Belarus, Belarus and Russian standards. And of course, right now, the certification process go, goes on in United Arab Emirates for tropical climates. As you can see on this picture here, this one is the first model, the tropical unicar. It's very luxurious. It has four seats. It's very beautiful and very comfortable. And what is uh, also what was important was that the, the, since the climate is very hot outside most of the times uh, in here, then it has to maintain a approximately 20 up to 24 degrees inside the cabin and uh, they did it very well. There are some special glasses, glass and, and so on. So Skyway team has done a really great job. And some pictures I have brought out myself also from, th these are from Belarus. I have been myself in both of these places in Innovation Center in Sarja, United Arab Emirates and also here in, in Belarus. So, and I might, must say that these are really amazing. And revolutionary Unicorn, um, basically a model which can carry sea containers. And if we think about that uh, right now, the sea containers on the mainland are mainly um, well transported by trucks. Then trucks usually go average speed uh, by average speed. Uh, 15 to 20 kilometers per hour because there are, have to be some um, um, obligatory stops and then and, and so on and the traffic which will influence the, the speed of, of nowadays transportation of the sea containers but the, with the unicorns we can go um, well 50 to 100 uh, kilometers per hour and and we don't do not need to do any stops or there there are no obstacles so this is really revolutionary and and the world is waiting for that i can say and in uh, united arab emirates they're also very fascinated about this one and this uh, certain tra track is also currently under development i know the supports are already placed yeah, underground or, or on the ground so the uh, and the, the track is currently being built, so we will see this uh, in, in short time. The fifth point, very important point, is that the demand is everywhere. We started from Belarus, we have made our way to United Arab Emirates, and I know that there are many, many mm, very mm, hot uh, contracts, so to say, or pre-contracts, or uh, uh, so to say, memorandum of understandings in many on many continents. So the work is actively going on around the globe. So we will see Skyway soon everywhere. I can say that. And one uh, fact also which uh, says, uh, well, which supports what I just said is that we have a very strong and professional team. Well, Antonio Nitsky has. He has more than a thousand workers in his team, which is absolutely amazing. And it's, I believe, any of us who has uh, had this chance to um, work with thousand workers, or uh, it's it's very, it's not that easy to delegate this um, um, well tasks to all of all of these people. So there has to be a great and strong team to to make this go on. For a long time and Antonio Niski has done it and is doing this constantly so big thank you to him as well let's see on what we have more and seven point should be that financially beneficial yes and how we might ask of course there are, well I see mainly two sides of it um, the big sides if you look at the big picture the first one is that it is 
financial beneficial for customer for a government or a country who um, who orders this uh, transportation technology or, or for a company because if we look at the um, prices or cost per kilometer then we can see i before i mentioned that monorail in dubai was 70 million us dollars and this right here on this uh, slide is well the average what it usually costs and of course maglev is even more expensive and and uh, hyperloop as you might understand this is extremely expensive and now let's see on what we have more sorry about that little pause i had Mm. And the other other side is that um, mm, it's very 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 uh, attractive for um, for investors as well, for like people like me or or you. I I, I believe I can say that uh, we have the chance today to support um, financially the technology. Basically, we are giving out loans, and uh, the loans are impact by by the shares of the company so we in that way we can become the shareholders of of the main company so wh wherever in the world the tracks are being constructed or built the, there is first of all the profits will come from building the profits will come from maintain, maintaining maintenance of, of the technology and and of course the ticket sales as well and uh, and the 20 percent of those profits will go back to all the shareholders divided of course how much shares you are currently holding so that's uh, why i recommend everybody who are not yet on board to certainly come on board and invest and uh, and make this uh, and and take this opportunity what we have right now because um, w you might know that we have 15 stages we are currently in the 14th of uh, stage of development and after 15 uh, 15 stages we do not have this chance anymore then we have to wait for ipo and when going on a public market and then we can buy our shares from there but of course they are tens up to a hundred times uh, hi higher those prices if we want to buy those shares from there so today we can be uh, we can be on board in the right time in which is today and and this is why we have this campaign also currently going on the active start campaign which basically um, well actually i'm not going to concentrate on the active start in details you can read this in your back office if you go and log in your back office then there is possible to see this uh, this uh, what are the details and what it consists this comes a certain campaign Whoa, and we have almost in the, we are almost in the end uh, now i want to tell you about some latest news what or some biggest biggest latest news and the first one is that universe certification in europe has started i have myself personally waited for a long time this uh, this moment and this um, certain event and uh, as you as you know we have a certificate we have already models certificated in uh, under Belarus and um, Russian standards. Currently, the certification process goes on in tropical climates, and now it starts in Europe as well. So that is amazing. So congratulations again to all of us, and let's wait more great news about this certain news. The second one, uh, the second news, what I want to tell you is, is that uh, recently the United Arab Emirates government and Saudi business delegations were at the Desk Center in Sarja. And, uh, and uh, this news also supports the, uh, the, the previous one is that uh, what, they, what, what, what topics aroused there was that in, uh, in a city called Korfakan, they are planning to build a little bit longer than 10 kilometer track and uh, and quite soon so these are these are the most uh, important aspects of this news but of course many delegations have been in Sacha already and they were interested about it and uh, a lot of different news channels also talk about this technology so we are perfectly 
in the right place at the moment and and with the right company that I can say. And uh, the rec most recent news was, uh, well, basically they interviewed the Nadezhda Gozerov, who is a, um, well, we can say he, he works side by side with Skyway, with Anatoly Anitsky. And I'm sorry about the delay. And what, well, the leading Russian business publication, it, it was called Veromosti, published an article uh, with the topic you see on the slide right now. And, um, and Nadezhda Gozerova brought out that, uh, for example, the construction of one kilometer of the string flyover costs one million US dollars, which is five to uh, three to five times lower than the construction of most affordable transport systems like motor roads, railroads or tramways. And uh, the string technologies at the same time retain all the advantages of modern environmental transport. For example, the flyover being above the ground allows to lay a track even in intensely populated city without changing the existing infrastructure, which is very important as we know today. And the use of an electric electric motor helps reduce the transport harmful impact on the environment and also the article was highlighted that, uh, highlighted that uh, string transport makes it possible to reduce the cost of freight transportation twice as much as compared to railroads and three times as much as compared to automobiles and the most promising model of course in this direction as i mentioned before uh, it could be unicont the freight string transport for transporting containers and another direction where the cost of constructing the string tracks is significantly lower than its competitors is high speed transport. And one kilometer of such a track will cost about 5 million US dollars. And for com comparison, Nadezhda Tegozera, the CEO of Unisky String Technologies, point, uh, pointed out that the construction of a high speed main line in Europe costs much more about 30 million US dollars for one kilometer. So yeah that said it's yeah basically that article concluded what we thought uh, talked about today and then was uh, again very well very well written so we're in the end the last slide is uh, this one Dalai Lama and Anatolianiski and and why I would like why I like to pro bring this out each time is that the the Lama, the Lai Lama, as we know, the spiritual guide in our world also gave his blessing and said that it's not going to be easy, of course, but in the end, eventually, everything will will be successful. So, that said, thank you all for coming uh, to, the, to today's uh, webinar. And the next one will happen in 24th of March, exactly in two weeks. Again, 7 p.m. Moscow time, so take a look at what time it is in your country. Mm -hmm. Or, of course, you can uh, watch it later on via YouTube as well. And the topic will be Skyway Technology presentation again. And let's see what uh, great news will, will be said next time. Thank you again very much for coming and have a safe, healthy uh, uh, week or months ahead. Let's hope everything will solve quickly this corona crisis thing so we can go back to normal life so stay healthy and then be strong goodbye to all of you